So this episode we'll be showing us installing the Vortex water treatment plant, which it does say you can t install yourself. So if you've got one, <laughs> you're thinking about installing it, this is what it might be like. Um, I've also got loads of information in various links in the comments box in case anybody is watching this out of curiosity about how easy it is to install your own water treatment tank. You've got to have it seven metres away from the house and you've got to have it either buried underground on a nice flat surface or as we've chosen to do have it above ground. Ben had to make a concrete uh, platform which is very level. So then you need to have uh, from the manhole outside the house um, the sewer pipe to take the poo etc from your house to the water treatment tank and this is where it gets a bit tricky because it's got to be a certain gradient so if it's too steep all the wee and water goes first and the poo is left behind so that's not ideal and if it's not steep enough then nothing goes down it fast enough like for every one meter it goes along it goes down 40 millimeters which is not very many centimeters but everything apparently is in millimeters in the building world i don't know why we had to get the treatment tank into the field and find a place where it could go not too steep not too shallow so um yes that's the tricky part so we got digger to dig the trench across the road, a private road belonging to our neighbour, and we got a treatment tank arrived about £2,000, a little bit over £2,400, so quite expensive. So now trying to get the treatment plant into the field, into the place where it should be seven metres exactly more than seven metres away from the house it's got to be. The mini digger we had did not work, it was too small, and um even trying to put the treatment tank on a little platform balance it halfway down and then somehow get it down it's actually um weighs about 200 kilograms i don't know how much it weighs but it's it's very unwieldy and you're supposed to keep it upright because there's lots of science inside we couldn't just sort of roll it down the hill that was a big worry actually that it was going to tip over the, the mini digger and go rolling with the digger and the, the driver down the hill and then we had to call up the local hire company and get a bigger digger. So here's a bigger digger arriving. Hooray! Hooray! Although it actually cost us quite a lot of money because they charged us quite a lot for delivery. Then we were able to get the water treatment tank into the um, field. Yep! Yay! Oh my god! Hooray. But then we had to finish the trench, which we started digging, and put road plates across the road. Get it all exactly the right level to match up with the water treatment tank, so the pipe's in the right place. And put all the backfill stuff in it. So we weren't able to get the pipe in a straight line, we had to, but I didn't have any bends because I hadn't ordered anything like that. So then we couldn't attach this pipe up to the other end, so we couldn't finish it and it's becoming a bit of a nightmare. So then we had to come back on a Saturday morning early, finish the trench, make sure it's all perfect, make sure the pipe all sits in it perfectly. Clark. We've got road plates over the big trench. Um, we've got a neighbour coming out at 10, so we need to have the road plates on. We've got another neighbour coming out at half 11, so we need to have the road plates on. The digger's getting taken at 12. We've got a lot of digging to do. It's a nightmare. So we've got this bend pipe to fit the angle. They told us in the shop, oh, you can saw it off to the angle you want, and then you just plane it down and attach it onto your straight pipe. But you can't do that, it would not work. It was, it was quite scary actually because we'd already had the road open for like three days and we weren't that confident about the road plates staying in place. So we had to leave the road plates on and the higher place said they'd come back and get them on the Tuesday, Monday being the bank holiday. So we came back and they 
the hire could produce. They said they couldn't come to correct the rope plates after all on that day. So that's a very annoying. We were, had, almost had to give up, but Ben decided that he was going to move the rope plates by hand using a crowbar. You can see how heavy they are. They're getting towed off by a mini digger there. You get these flexible pipes that bend. You can have zero to 90 degree angle on that. Woo. Let me talk a bit about the backfill. So if you're putting in a plastic sewage pipe, you need to put in pea gravel or pea shingle um, and sip the pipe in that and then surround the pipe with it. I read in the building regulations it's got to be at least 30 centimetres down. And if it's under a road, it has to be significantly deeper. I think it was 70 centimetres, something like that, maybe 90. So quite far down. So ours wasn't that far down because of course these angles. Because it says if you can't have the depth, then you need to have concrete slabs on sh laid on shoulders across the trench. So it's pea shingle, a bit of MOT, I think it was uh, like 10 centimetres of MOT, or maybe a bit less, um, and the flags, and then more MOT type one, which is like a road surfacing type stuff. But in the regulations, it seems to be called compression compressible material or compression material or something. They don't tell you what stuff that's actually called. Yeah, so now we have the water treatment plant in place and we have the pipe in the right place at the right angle, which is excellent. I'm just about to put in the manhole, which I didn't realise, but you just put the man I bought this manhole that's plastic and I was thinking, I don't know how this works. How does it work? But you just attach it on the end and just all the poo and everything goes into this big manhole from various directions and then the water treatment tank. So I thought it was more complicated but it's just like a big pipe. The electrician's coming up to do the electric part which is something to do with armoured cables which we didn't want to get involved with. And then Hopefully, we're getting a toilet in a couple of weeks. <laughs> we're now officially called Crabapple Farm, by the way, and we have made this sign. <laughs>